Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod, and we are back in the Star Trek Legacy campaign. Uh, I really thought I was going to have more time to record in these last few weeks, but I have been working all day every day on uh, some research stuff and a summer class, and I have not had any time. But I have some time right now, so last time when we played Star Trek Legacy, I did the very first campaign mission, I believe it's called, what is it called? I cannot remember. Those in Need, I think. And we were able to save the Kodo Epsilon-class ship from the clutches of the Romulans, and also save, I think it's Tavrell, um, from a Romulan assault as well in her Vulcan vessel. And... Uh, Right now, we are going to see what happens next in this story. So let me hit continue. And hopefully, it continues correctly. Okay, so we have, again, the Kodo, we have the Enterprise. And I, let's see, I have 4,100 command points, so let's try to get something kind of beefy. I do like the way the Neptune looks. Let's see, Columbia Discovery. Ooh. Yorktown class battleship. I really like the Yorktown. It looks like it's almost trying to be um, a Constitution class, but it's not quite there. They haven't quite got the design down. So, if Yorktown instead, and honestly, I almost like the Yorktown more. Uh, I like the low profile. It just looks like a heavy hitting Starfleet vessel. So, we have 2,000 command points left. Let's purchase a. Let's actually go for one of those Neptunes as well. Um. Yeah, there we go. Down to 411. I should probably look into upgrading these vessels. So let's refit the fleet here. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's actually refit the Neptune just because that's the one that's going to be the most vulnerable, I think. Uh, oh, I guess all we can do is the hull. Um, and that's fine. Having more protection against things shooting at you is always a good idea. So we're done with that. I think we are ready to continue. Ooh, breakwater. There's a nebula, and it looks like a starbase out there. Being assaulted. Commander Terrell, it looks like your researchers have some company. Is there anything you might want to tell me that could help us resolve this peacefully? Nothing that comes to mind, Captain. The Romulans are obviously the aggressors here. We must act. I'm going to try and talk to them first. This is the Starfleet ship Enterprise. Cease your hostilities immediately. While I prize your optimism, Captain, I suggest you speak to the Romulans in a language they understand. All right, so, oh, it's Terrell, not Tavrell. How silly of me to get those confused. So protect Terrell's ship and research station, grab an hour, and destroy the attacking Romulan ships. So I think I will try to Mark do that. All ships. Engage the Romulan vessels. We have to keep them from destroying the outpost. Solid two of them taken out, at least. I'm getting reports all over that they're being destroyed. Um, I think the Yorktown took a hit from an explosion. Are there any more left? Switch to the Yorktown. Oh, it's so cool, though. I was going to repair the shields, and I realized, wait a second, that uh, it's not needed. Because there are no shields. Enemies will often switch their target to their attackers. Yes. Exactly. So if you want to distract an enemy ship, all you have to do is just shoot at it once and they'll switch to you. Especially if you're trying to defend some other vessel they're attacking. So, yeah, right there. Use useful tactic when protecting ships or stations. Excellent. Where are they is my question. But I guess a good place to look would be near the research station. So... 
Let us select all of these guys and head to the station, I guess. There's also a uh, space dock over here, or a, uh, I guess a, a dry dock, a shipyard. A place where I can repair my ship, and it always looks really cool. So let me try to maneuver over there and maybe repair this. I don't think I was supposed to Intrepid. dispatch them orders. Uh, that easily. Diverting power to engines, Captain. Koto to fleet. Awaiting orders. All right, they've all arrived. Enemy target on sensors. That's that's potentially bad. That seems to be all okay, good, but there could be more in the area. I was going to repair. I know they have some sort of cloaking technology. Well done, Captain. I will now dock with the outpost and begin the evacuation. It seems the prudent course, given that your vessels are the only ones capable of defending us from another attack. You have a point, Commander. Hmm. All Starfleet ships. Maintain a defensive perimeter around the outpost until everyone on board is uh -oh. evacuated. Wait a second. The Neptune. Oh no. If I might suggest, Captain, your ships have sustained damage in the battle. No kidding. The inactive repair facility nearby may be able to solve that dilemma. However, to return it to operational status, you will have to beam some engineers inside of its control center. Oh, perfect. I'm already there. Hi, Captain. Uh, let's do transport. Oh, that's kind of cool. Are we completely dead in the water? We are. Completely dead in the water. Let's try to repair the engines. Ouch. We are adrift. Engines are back oh. online, Captain. Slightly less adrift. The Romulan sure didn't waste much time. Archered all ships. We have company. Hold the station perimeter. We can't let them destroy it. Standing by. Oh, their shields are down. Excellent, excellent. Oh, there's a second one on the way. Hopefully, they fly right into that explosion. It kind of did. They've done it. The repair facility is operational. Excellent. Now we can use it to patch up our ships. Because my ships need patching up. Phasers locked on target, sir. Alright, while well, they're doing that, let's switch to uh, number four here and get me to that repair station. Now. Captain, hull integrity is severely compromised. Nice kill. Enterprise on station, awaiting orders. Romulan ship destroyed. I just want to repair, that's all I want. I think the Yorktown can repair itself. Or I guess it's Starfleet vessels. They're everywhere. We can't stop. Vulcan outpost. This is Enterprise. Come in. Are you receiving? Technically the Washington. In there? Some of the toxic gas spilled into the command module. It has a hallucinogenic effect. My crew is attempting to rescue personnel as we speak, but they are showing signs of dementia. Can you get them out of there? Our transporter won't work with all that radiation in the outpost. Understood. We will endeavor to move more quickly. Full power to shields. The Passard Collector is appearing again on this nacelle. Another flight of Romulan ships is approaching. Oh no. We're cutting it close. You're going to have to hurry. Fool! You are clearly outmatched. Let's put full power to weapons. Oh, I forgot we have like that actual phaser back there. Yeah. Significant damage to enemy sensors. Koto standing by. Yeah, we're about to have a problem. Engaging warp drive. Koto standing by. Washington standing by. Let's try to repair. They're reattaching the nacelle. That is crazy. Enterprise. 
allies to fleet. We're taking a beating. Romulan vessel destroyed. Really hope that wasn't the Enterprise. Okay, that wasn't the Enterprise I saw explode. That was something else. Good. I'm gonna have to stop preparing this temporarily. Power to weapons and hull. Good. We dished out more than we took, but I'm not so sure I want to stick around for more. Me neither. Enterprise to Commander Terrell, how is the evacuation coming? It goes well, Captain. We have nearly everything we need. However, we will require a bit more time. We'll do what we can, but if they come at us in force again, it may be difficult to ensure your safety. I have the utmost confidence in your capabilities, Captain Archer. We all do. Yeah, this almost takes as much time to repair with the, the, the station as it does, uh... Without the station. Does speed it up a little bit, though. Archer to Terrell. We picked up a large oh, no. force bearing down on us. We must leave immediately. Terrell, what's going on in there? Respond. Well, the Yorktown can take a hit, so let's be pretty aggressive. But they've lost their nacelle. Good. Torpedoes are on the way. Okay, we have... I'm counting three ships in the vicinity. But let's target the, um... The Cetra over here, get them to stop shooting at the station. Kodo's in danger. I think. Enemy weapon system damaged. Target yep. This could be a bad idea. Incoming torpedo. Full power to shields. You would stand against us? Although we have a lot more torpedoes than they do. Diverting energy. Just bathe them in torpedoes. Solid kill there. You know what the problem is? It's the missing nacelle. They can't repair the missing nacelle. Not possible, Captain. That's why it's stuck. It's stuck in the shipyard. Romulan ship destroyed. Well, that's great. It's useless now. And I don't know how to get him out. Stand by Unless the shipyard is uh, destroyed. That hurt. On Target shields down. Washington standing by. Great. Just great. I love that grill pattern on the back of the nacelles. I, I, I just like the Yorktown. It's a really cool looking ship, and this is one of the original ships uh, from the game without any mods. Uh, the Neptune's new. Pretty sure the, ne the Neptune is new. Um, but yeah, this came with regular vanilla Star Trek Legacy, and it's just awesome. Oh no, let's get out of here very quickly. No, let's please not head into that. And we are sideways. Oh yeah? Why do I not have a lock? I really would like one. But okay. Come on. Torpedoes our way. That'll take him out. Or that'll take him out. Whichever. We are still stuck. How do we unstuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, Star Trek Legacy is a good game. But it is glitchy.
Like, extremely glitchy. Let's warp back to the station. Don't think anyone's hiding in the nebula. But we can check that with our long range sensors. Initiate long range sensor scan. Our map. Yeah, no, it's just the one uh, Battlehawk, I think. The Nerosian. We are closing. Probably turn off sensors now. Break. Not the most maneuverable ship. Okay, let's not turn towards the explosion. We could not do that. Terrell, do you have everyone from the station? Damn it all, we're still reading life signs on the outpost. We've lost the outpost and everyone aboard. Push your engines as hard as you have to. I want Terrell to answer for this. Pursuit course. That won't be necessary, Captain. Thank you for your assistance. We couldn't have secured the necessary protomatter without your aid. Now we are much closer to accomplishing our goals. I doubt we'll meet again. But if we do, know that my gratitude will not save you in our next encounter. I knew I didn't like that woman. Vulcans. Secretive and deceitful. I should have learned from the Andorians. My mistake in judgment cost these people their lives. I won't make that error again. It's odd that Archer blames himself when there's absolutely no way that he could have known what Terrell was up to, that she wasn't genuine in her intentions. But I suppose that just adds more to the storyline. So if you guys enjoyed this video of the campaign mission Breakwater, then please be sure to leave this video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well then please subscribe because there is always more Star Trek Legacy on this channel. If for whatever reason you guys did not enjoy the video, I do apologize for that. And I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will find some enjoyment from them. And that was the second campaign mission. I did not lose any ships, although I came awfully close. And I was able to take out 18 enemy vessels, at least 18. Um, I'm not sure how many Terrell took out or how many just weren't counted. But that was a pretty intense fight. And I look forward to the next mission. I'm actually going to just jump right into recording that one too while I'm here. So I will... I won't release the video the same day, I don't think. But I will probably release it the next day or maybe the day after. I don't know what sort of spacing I want to use. But anyway, I hope you guys are all having a phenomenally awesome day. As always, I am Foxtrot Delta. And I will see you next time. <laughs>